I recently read The Four Agreements by author Don Miguel Ruiz. As children, our parents, teachers, and society told us we were either good or bad, right or wrong. We got so used to being judged that we developed an internal judge to judge ourselves when our parents, teachers, and society were not there to judge us. This internal judge, left unchecked and unchallenged, finds fault in everything we do and punishes us for making a mistake over and over. It's like we're living under an authoritarian ruler. We live cautious lives and waste a ton of energy monitoring our every move. The way out of this nightmare is to commit to the four agreements. When we commit to the four agreements, we free ourselves from the rule of the inner judge and can use the energy that was once used up by the inner judge to create a magnificent life. Agreement number one, be impeccable with your word. The word impeccable comes from the Latin word im, impeccatus, which means without sin. The biggest sin you can commit, author Don Miguel Ruiz says, is self-rejection. When you repeatedly judge yourself for making a mistake and habitually think, I'm an idiot, you're engaging in the mortal sin of self-rejection. When you agree to be impeccable with your word, you agree to stop repeating words that make you feel worse for something you did. Berating yourself is pointless and just distracts you from taking corrective action. It's like taking an exam for a second time and having someone behind you saying, you know you screwed up last time, right? Why did you screw up? If you merely set the intention to be aware of the words you're using to harm yourself and others, you will start to see significant changes in your life. It's like when a person sets an intention to eat less sugar and takes pictures of what he eats so he's more aware of what he's eating. He ends up producing the amount of sugar he eats and feels better. It's not enough to stop judging yourself. You need to stop judging others because the more you judge others, the more you will judge yourself. Judging others is like throwing a boomerang that returns to hit you in the back of the head. So when you go to bed each night, reflect on the quality of the words you said to yourself and others during the day. Imagine every word you said to yourself and others was broadcast to every phone in the world for everyone to hear. Then ask yourself, did my words uplift people or did they depress people? Agreement number two, don't take anything personally. When a person insults you, imagine that person is full of poison and their words are poison being thrown at you. If you take their insults personally, you will ingest that poison. Once ingested, the poison will take over your emotional operating system and make it hard to think clearly. You will be enraged and feel like a victim. Stop feeling like a victim by remembering that nothing people do is personal. Even if someone takes out a gun and shoots you, it's not personal. They did not shoot you because of who you are. They shot you because of who they are. They would have not shot you if they weren't full of hatred. They wouldn't have shot you if they didn't have a horrible childhood and suffered constant abuse or repeatedly fed lies that made them hate people who look like you. When you agree to not take things personally, you choose to see other people's suffering and realize that their judgments and their hatred and their harmful words are just a reflection of the pain they are experiencing. Instead of thinking, why me, why me? Think, poor them. Choose to be compassionate instead of choosing to be a victim. Now, this doesn't mean you live a passive life. If a person shoots you, ensure they go to prison but not because you want revenge, but because it's for the greater good. This person is dangerous to themselves and others. Seek justice without being outraged and hating the person who wronged you. Because when you're full of hate and feel like a victim, you'll allow your inner judge to beat up on you. That's why it's imperative to never take anything personally. Agreement number three, don't make assumptions. If you routinely make assumptions, you will have multiple interpersonal conflicts that will make it hard to not take things personally. I've made assumptions that have led to unnecessary fights with people in my life. When I had a roommate after college, I assumed it was okay to leave the dishes in the sink. I assumed wrong. If I had clarified the house rules, I could have avoided several fights with my roommate. When you screw up because you didn't have the courage to ask a question to clarify an assumption, you give your inner judge ammunition to shoot you down. But if you vow to never make assumptions and clarify people's needs, you give your inner judge less opportunity to speak up. Whenever you have an ounce of doubt, clarify. Agreement number four, always do your best. Honor this agreement and your inner judge will have no basis to judge you on. In the book, author Don Miguel Ruiz says, if you've done your best and the judge tries to judge you according to your book of law, you've got the answer. I did my best. 
Think of times you've walked away from a performance, not knowing if you'd won or lost, but knowing deep down that you did your best. Remember that peace that you felt. Even after you failed to get the reward you expected, the job or the trophy, you still had no reason to judge yourself. I've learned to do my best in two ways. First, I do my best when I give my full attention to an activity and don't overexert myself. Many people believe that to do their best, they need to go all out. But if you push yourself too hard, you will kill the joy you have for an activity and exhaust yourself, which will increase the time needed to complete your goal. And second, I do my best when I forget about the rewards or punishments I expect afterwards and just focus on getting better. If you have a hard time knowing what your best is, it's helpful to picture the main character in the movie Forrest Gump. Whatever Gump did, he applied himself fully. Whether it was playing football, fighting in Vietnam, playing table tennis, captaining a shrimp boat, or running, he simply immersed himself and seemed to enjoy what he was doing. Like Gump, do your best by doing your best to enjoy the process. In the end, free yourself from the tyranny of your inner judge by making four agreements with yourself. First, Agree to be impeccable with your word. Refrain from using words to project yourself and judge others. Second, agree to never take anything personally. People who try to harm you are suffering and full of poison. Do not eat their poison and feel like a victim. Third, agree to not make assumptions. Find the courage to ask questions and clarify people's needs. And fourth, agree to always do your best by doing your best to enjoy the process. If you fail to uphold any of these four agreements, forgive yourself and start over. Each day is a new opportunity to honor the four agreements. Gradually, the four agreements will become second nature, and you will find yourself on the path to personal freedom. That was the core message that I gathered from The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. This is a highly practical spiritual book that provides great insights. I highly recommend it. If you would like a one-page PDF summary of insights that I gathered from this book, just click the link below and I'd be happy to email it to you. If you already subscribed to the free Productivity Game email newsletter, this PDF is sitting in your inbox. If you like this video, hit that like button and share it with a friend. And as always, thanks for watching and have yourself a productive week.